Hey guys, it's Robbie here, and this is Frecky Fit Wolf. It is Sunday, so that means it's time for another week's weigh in. Alright, so happy Sunday, guys. How are you all doing? It's been a crazy week, huh? I mean, not going to get into all of the coronavirus and all of that jazz, but wow, it's been a crazy, crazy week. A lot of stuff going on. Kind of sucks being a hairstylist right now because we are dead at work. Um, but yeah, so this week is one of those weeks that I have been mentally trying to prepare for since I started working out about a month ago. I... For the past like nine months before this, I have been very, very, very dependent on that scale and kind of addicted to it. Hence why I do weigh-ins every single Sunday. And I know that as I exercise, as I do my strength training and build more muscle, it's not always going to be what I expect it to be despite behaving food-wise. And this week I did. I ate perfectly on plan. Honestly, even on last Sunday, I ate a little bit less than I normally would. Um, I stayed within my points and my weekly points. Normally on Sundays, I might go a little bit over my daily and weekly points. And so, of course, the first week that I actually behaved perfectly on a Sunday, my weight didn't go so great. Uh, I'm just going to get into the numbers right away. So, I am 317 pounds now. That means I gained 0.8 pounds. I'm still down 59.8 pounds total, though. And like I said, guys, I'm not stressing out about it. I'm not freaking out about it um, because I know I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I am doing my exercise. I am eating the food that I'm supposed to be eating, healthy versions of it, too, and I am drinking plenty of water. So I am doing everything that I know my body needs. So I am trying not to let that scale bug me. I mean, I, I'm not going to pretend that, you know, not a little bit discouraged uh, because nine months, guys, nine months of watching that scale pretty steadily go down, except for when I knowingly made mistakes or had a binge. So considering I did not do that, it is very frustrating to see the scale go up a little bit. But as I said, I know that this is something that I'm going to expect. This is something that I'm trying to wrap my head around. And this is when I actually look for other things. Just like nowadays, people have been asking me, you know, what my goal weight is. And I honestly don't know. I know what my body looks like if I just empty it out and not exercise and not make it more solid. And that would be 220. But I don't know if that number is still going to be accurate with what I'm doing now. So it, again, the goals are very, very confusing for me right now, but I have a picture in my mind of what I want my body to do and what I want it to look like. And I can measure and all this other stuff for m figuring out progress. I did measure this morning, nothing shrank except my chest, which is great, but everything else is the same. My chest went down one inch, which is kind of dramatic, I think, since last week. Because I think, yeah, last week I did my measurement. So that was pretty cool. And one thing that I thought was really cool, like I mentioned it. If you guys have watched me from the beginning, which I know a lot of you have not. But one of the first things I mentioned was how I had a goal of having collarbones. Because I had them once before when I lost a bunch of weight. And I have not had them since. Like all of this has always just been... So I happened to... As I was running around getting stuff done, I happened to look in the mirror and I'm like, they're not much, but I've got them. I, they're, they're starting to be there. Like this used to all just be like, well, wrong way. I don't know how to make them go away, but <laughs> they're, they're starting to be there. So yay. <laughs> um, little things, guys. It's those little things that are going to make everything worthwhile, uh, especially because the more I go, the more that should get more developed. Although then it might fill up with muscle, hopefully. I don't know. I've been doing push-ups. All right. So anyway, mini goals, they're here. Uh, again, like I do feel 
a little questioning if I want to keep with these same type of goals, if I want to keep doing it, but it still is a good way to track even if it is going to take a lot longer because I do know 317, even if I was solid muscle, is way too much and I'm not going to stay here. So my next mini goal is 296.6. Since I came this week, that mean I that means I have gone over my last goal, and so now I have um, twenty point four pounds to go to this. I'm not going to backtrack on the goal because I'm hoping that this is just like a water gain, or you know, because my muscles are sore type of gain. And if it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. So I'm keeping that as it is. Um, and I honestly haven't even rewarded myself for it, which is kind of good since I went back a little bit. But um, I, I, money's tight right now. So I'm not trying to do a physical reward. I do have written on there a carefree do nothing day or guilt free. Yeah, guilt free do nothing day, which will probably be my reward instead, where it'll be a day where I do nothing and don't feel guilty about it because that is very hard for me to do. Normally, if I try to have a, I'm just having a me day, I feel guilty like 7, 8 o'clock at night, and then I have to go start doing laundry, start cleaning, start doing this, da, 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 da. I want a day of like Netflix and chill with myself. So I'll probably do that soon. I am working every day this week, which is kind of cruddy since, uh, you know, nobody's coming in because they're scared of the coronavirus. So it'll be a long week for me. Um, and also over here, my Dragon Con goal, if you guys don't know, Dragon Con is the world's largest nerd run fan convention. And I am going this year. Hopefully, I mean, conventions are being canceled right now, but this is not until Labor Day. So I am really, really hoping that everything's settled down by then. Um, especially because if it's still going on, I need business to pick up at work. So if you guys ha you know, are scared right now, but you need your hair done, just come in anyway. I guarantee the salons are doing what they can to be as sanitary as possible. So please, just come in. Don't be scared. <laughs> um, but yeah. So anyway, with the Dragon Con, sorry, I got distracted by that. Uh, with Dragon Con, I am going as long as it's still happening this year. And so I set a goal of losing about two pounds a week, and that would put me at 263 pounds. And that means I would have 54 pounds to go from where I'm at currently. So again, the numbers are a little wibbly wobbly because of me changing my method of how I'm losing weight and how I am getting in shape and reshaping my body. So they are what they are. They are still good to keep in mind so that I have something to look forward to. Even if it does take longer, even if I do not meet this goal over here, I know eventually I will at least meet that goal. Um, this one just, or this one just because time frame. I, I don't know what the time frame is going to be like because the scale is not going to be moving as fast. I mean, last week was a smaller loss. This week it was a little bit of a gain. And yeah, that's what happens when you go to the gym, which is why I've always avoided it. But, but I do know that it is what my body needs and it is the best thing for my health so despite these the scale not changing as much my focus is more on my health and my body shape and that's what it needs to be ultimately not just what the scale says there's so much more to my body than how much it actually weighs that can determine my health so that is what I'm working on and that is what I got for the week. Um, uh, I thought about putting um, Trials of a Long Hair Girl. Tracy had sent me, a ta she tagged me in a video. I thought about adding that in, but I realized I'm at like nine minutes right now. Not going to fit up. I don't want to like make you guys sit for like another 10 minutes while I do that. So I will just wrap this up here. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are reaching your goals. I hope you aren't stressing out or freaking out too much. And yeah, so please comment, please like, please subscribe. And until I do this tag video, I'll talk to you guys later.